This is the Dean, the Dean Show. This is the Dean Show. This is the Dean, this is the Dean Show. This is the Dean Show. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, peace be with you. You're watching the Dean Show. I'm Eddie, your host, and my next guest. You might know him, you already know him from a vast topic that we did, and we condensed it into the top 10 reasons why Jesus, the Christ, the Messiah, peace be upon him, who is beloved to our hearts, we believe he was a Muslim, and he did Islam, because Islam means to surrender and submit to the one God. And Jesus prayed to the one God. He worshipped the one God. And he was a Muslim because a Muslim is one who does Islam, does all these acts of worship. And we did the top 10 reasons why this mighty messenger, Jesus, peace be upon him, is beloved to our hearts. And we proved that in no way did he ever call people to worship him, that he was not God, never claimed to be God. And it stirred up a lot of emotions. But when the emotion settles, the light bulb went on. And people were excited because they got to see through all the confusion. And that's my next guest who's coming out, Joshua Evans. We're going to be talking more about this here on The Dean Show. Sit tight. Don't go nowhere. This is The Dean, The Dean Show. This is 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 the Dean, this is the Dean Show. This is the Dean, this is the Dean Show. This is the Dean, this is the Dean Show. 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 Peace be with you, Peace my brother. Peace be with you, brother. with you, brother. How you been? How you been? I've been good, alhamdulillah, praise be to God. I've been very, very good. How have you been? I've been all good, thanks to God, to the creator of heavens and earth. It's been a long time since you've been with us. How's everything been? Everything's been good. It has been a long time. We've both been hard at work doing the da'wah, spreading the message of la ilaha illallah. There's only one God worthy of worship, and that is the one true creator of the heavens and the earth. So it's always been good. Now, you heard me open the show, top ten reasons why Jesus, peace be upon him, who we love dearly, he never claimed to be God, wasn't God, and we covered this together in the top ten reasons why he wasn't God. We proved it intellectually, academically, and you had that wonderful list. How was the response that you got? I had so many people writing in, they were amazed, you know, when the emotions, or some people were a little emotional, when that calmed down, light bulb went on, many people were accepting Islam. The way that Jesus lived, submission to the one God, what kind of response were you getting? Because you were touring the world, doing this uh, topic. The response was, as you said, in the beginning, a lot of people, because it has this shock value, you know, uh, so a lot of emotions do get stirred up, but when you let people calm down and say, look, let's just rationally look at the information, you know, and then it's on you to decide for yourself. We're not forcing anybody, you know, we are just giving them and disseminating information. So when we gave them the clear information with the evidences, it was up to them. And then we, after a while, I started to see the response come in. And we did have a lot of people accept Islam based on this information. Alhamdulillah. Praise be to the one creator. Did you ever get any people say, you know what, you weren't Christian enough. You never were Christian. That's why. I've had plenty of that response, that I never was a true Christian. Yeah. At, or, or that I never was a Christian at all, period. That it was a false claim. Or you never had like the Holy Ghost in you or something. For sure. How, how did you answer this? Well, I answer this by first and foremost just stating that, that that's kind of a, a, an emotional response to tell me what I was and was not, you know, based on how I am now, to tell me I wasn't this at one point in my life. Uh, realistically, that's between me and my Creator. I know that at one point in my life, I truly did believe Jesus was God. I truly believed that God was a man and that, man, and, and that Jesus was God and man, that God was one in three and all this. This is something I truly believed. Uh, as an ideology, you know, but when the information came out and I studied the information from a um, unbiased perspective, the information that I gave to our viewers was the information I received myself and accepted it and entered into Islam. This is amazing, it's amazing. Tell us also now, before you even get to this step, because we cater to a lot of people, a lot of people tune in, all praises to the creator of the heavens and the earth that now he's given us this platform. We have a not a lot of not yet Muslims and a lot of them, you know, you have to like kind of take a leap 
and come to to be able to sit through a lot of these shows because you know what a lot of people are indulging in you know the the action movies and 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 all the other entertainment out there so maybe some muslim or someone you know who's got their friend they're not yet muslim friend and this guy just came from the nightclub now you're talking about jesus and all these other you know important topics purpose of life but why is this for that person that's kind of struggling to sit through this who's going to be sitting through this why is this topic because even the Christians and other people of other faiths, they know that this is a serious topic. And they should listen, all right, to get a different perspective. What about also those other that we cater to, the people kind of like more, maybe you call them the hedonists, people who are just pleasure seekers, nightclubs, boys, girls, you know, young, young, young ones at 14, 15 who are just thinking about that lifestyle. But now they're finally watching a Dean show, and they're hearing you talking about this mighty messenger, Jesus, and we're going to go into these vast topics. Why is this such an important topic? They should be excited to listen about. Well, it's such an important topic because I believe it is also a stepping stone topic because Jesus is one of the most famous, if not the most famous figure in history. Um, and a lot of things have been said about him. And uh, a lot of ideologies, the major world religion, a major world religion, Christianity, has been formulated around the personage of Jesus. So it, it, it is just, you know, according to pure logic that we need to sit down and say, okay, who was Jesus really? There are so many things said about him. There are so many, even within Christianity, there are so many different ideologies about Christ himself. And this is a debate that has been raging since the inception of Christianity itself, going all the way back to the life of 